this video, we're going to be talking about how to successfully create a newsletter on Shopify. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Coldest December here to teach you all your little business insider tips. You know the vibes. We are about to kill this business game. Okay, stick with me. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more insider tips. Now, as a beauty supply owner for my store, Glam Room LA, we sell hair extensions, wigs, ponytails, beauty supplies like conditioner, shampoos, all the goodies that you would need for your hair to thrive and be flawless and for you to define your glam any way that you want to, right? So with that, I try to send a good portion of newsletters a week so that people are up to date in how to care for their hair, what new products that we have, what's on sale, goodies that I like to send out to my loyal fan base, right? You should always be staying in contact with your customers just so they know that you're still there, you wanna be their friend. So for me, if somebody's gonna think about a wig, how to take care of their natural hair, I want them to think Glam Room LA. Let me go there first. So with that, newsletters are a fantastic way to stay in contact with your customers. I work for iHeartRadio as a digital content manager and there we actually send out newsletters every single day to our listeners because we want to update them on all the current news. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that for your business. I don't actually do that for my business. I probably send a newsletter every other day. So three or four times a week, however that may go. I use a couple of services to handle my newsletters. I actually use Privy and I use Shopify. I found that Privy is a bit more customizable with your layout and your newsletter and you can do a little bit more with it. However, Shopify is easier and much quicker to execute because they already have everything integrated within their newsletter section so that if you click to add in a discount, the code is already hooked up and applied and you don't have to customize that button and where the texts are going to go and stuff. Some people may find that using Shopify is a lot easier. The only downside about using the Shopify email platform is that it's a bit more plainer. It's not as spruced up. Mind you, they just launched this a couple of months ago, so give it some time and I can see Shopify really investing a lot of money into using this platform because I've already used it a ton of times. and. I like Privy, but I also like Shopify for the ease. So let's get into it. I'll show you guys how to actually make that newsletter. So you go to the marketing side of your uh, website. So you can see my my store name right there, Glam Room LA, and then you come on down and then you have the home orders, products, and then you go down to marketing. I have the stuff blanked out right here, but you know, it basically tells you your online store sessions and how much money you've made for marketing and marketing costs. You wanna go ahead over here in the top right corner where it says create campaign. So then you just wanna click on that. And then, you know, they give you a bunch of different options right here. You know, you could do Facebook, Microsoft, Pinterest, tra traffic ads, Snapchat. Um, but I'm just gonna do the Shopify email one today. It'll take you to this page and it has some templates that are already made for you. And these are very, very, very blank. Um, it's, you know, not really much going on with these. You can see that you have like a sale ending soon one, uh, this month's best seller. Uh, an update about COVID-19. They already have the templates there for you. As you can see, they have more branded templates coming soon. We'll see what they come out with, but I know that they just pretty much launched it because a lot of stores are online right now due to COVID. It just gives you like this month's bestseller. So I'm actually gonna do like a sale, sale announcement. Okay, I'm. that's probably a working title. I'm probably gonna change that actually because I'm not sure if I want that. So let's see, I want to change this item, okay. Down here, it already populates some items for you. So I have my Selena Wrap Ponytail, which those are actually on sale, but my newsletter is not about this right now. And then my Bronner Brothers. So I see it actually just pulls some of the sale items. I'm going to change this Selena Wrap Ponytail because I want to send a newsletter advertising my new wigs. I'm going to add in the popsicle. Okay, so you see that it automatically populates with the price, the title, the image, and when you click on it, it's gonna send you to the actual link. So, um, and you can hide all that stuff on the side if you want to. So say I don't want the image in there, it's gonna get rid of it. Um, but I'm gonna leave that in there, of course. I could change the background. So then down here, I'm gonna change this to um, 
cotton candies on sale. So let's go add that one in there. Add the button. Yeah, so these are the wigs that we have on sale. So then let's change this. Hot Girl Summer Sale is here. If you are looking to add another section right here, what you can do is just click on the newsletter and then you'll click the plus symbol. Then you can add a button, an image, discount, gift card, product, text. So let's see if I add a discount. It already populates special offer, discount value, shop now. And then I can select one of my discounts on the right side and then add it in there. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that tutorial right there. I hope that you execute your first newsletter sometime soon, this week or whatever. Let me know in the comments if you need any kind of assistance or help or if you would like to see more videos like this. I love using Shopify. It's such a great platform and I'm gonna try to dig in and learn as much as possible as I can about it and make sure to relay all that information to you guys, all right? So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get more business insider tips, all right? Good seeing you guys. Toodaloo.